The Large Hadron Collider, also known as the LHC, is the largest and most powerful particle accelerator in the world. It is a device that boosts subatomic particles to enormous energies in a controlled way, so scientists can study the resulting interactions. It can be found at the European Laboratory for Particle Physics, CERN, which is situated in Switzerland. It started in 2008 and remained the newest addition to CERN's accelerator complex. Recently, CERN scientists made a new terrifying discovery that shocked the scientific world. The revelation is so fundamental that it may alter our understanding of the universe and our role in it. Stay tuned to learn more about this news, which has been welcomed with excitement and panic. Let's start by analyzing how the Large Hadron Collider's name originated. The letter H is for Hadron, the generic name for LHC particles, such as protons made up of smaller particles called quarks, while the C is for Collider. L stands for Large, as the LHC is the most prominent accelerator on the planet, occupying a circular tunnel nearly 17 miles in circumference. The LHC accelerates two particle beams in opposite directions, and all the action occurs when the beams collide. In the field of particle physics, the Large Hadron Collider is used by researchers to test theoretical predictions, particularly those associated with the standard model. On the cusp of new physics, scientists are keen to use the LHC's recent upgrades. The standard model is the leading theory that describes all known fundamental forces and elementary particles in the universe. Although the standard model can account for practically all the findings in particle physics, some mysteries remain to be explained, such as what dark matter and dark energy are. Why is there a more significant amount of matter than antimatter in the universe? The LHC is intended to contribute to answering questions like these. The Large Hadron Collider is capable of recreating the conditions that prevailed a billionth of a second after the Big Bang. Scientists can observe the interactions between high-energy subatomic particles when they collide in a controlled environment thanks to the enormous accelerator. Despite its enormous size, the Large Hadron Collider depends on the operation of the other machines surrounding it. CERN LHC claims that before particles, which are typically protons, but for some experiments are much heavier lead ions, are injected into it, they are passed through a chain of smaller accelerators that progressively boost their speed. The super proton synchrotron is approximately 4.3 miles in circumference. The result is two beams traveling in opposite directions around the LHC at virtually the speed of light. A powerful magnetic field which can bend the path of electricity-charged particles is responsible for keeping the beams on their circular trajectories and providing other benefits. The opposite beams are brought together and caused to collide at four different points around the expansive ring that makes up the LHC. This is where scientific discovery is made. When particles collide at such high energies, a cascade of new particles is produced due to the collisions. The majority of these new particles have very brief lifetimes. The most essential thing for scientists right now is determining what each of these particles is, which is a complex endeavor. For this purpose, the Large Hadron Collider is equipped with a wide variety of advanced particle detectors, each composed of layers of subdetectors designed to measure particular particle properties or search for specific types of particles. Large detectors that serve various purposes are located in two of the four collision points that can be found around the perimeter of the LHC. Among these is the compact muon solenoid, which can be visualized as a gigantic 3D camera and take pictures of particles up to 40 million times per second. A gigantic electromagnet known as a solenoid is responsible for directing the paths that the particles take while they're inside the detector. Despite weighing 12,500 metric tons, it's pretty compact, as the detector's name suggests. This article, known as a muon, is elusive and very similar to the electron, but is significantly more massive. An array of subdetectors must be wrapped around the solenoid to detect muons. ATLAS, the other general-purpose detector at the LHC, serves the same purpose as CMS, but is constructed differently regarding its detection, subsystems, and magnets. Additionally, it is less compact than CMS. It occupies a larger volume than any other particle detector ever constructed. In the early 1960s, Peter Higgs and other scientists developed a theory to explain why certain force carrier particles have a mass greater than zero. The theory hypothesized the existence of a particle known as the Higgs boson, which had not been considered possible before. The next thing that needed to be done was to locate the Higgs boson, which would validate the theory despite how straightforward it may sound, leading to a search that spanned several decades and took place worldwide. The conclusion was reached in 2012 when data from the Large Hadron Collider, more specifically measurements from a combination of ATLAS and CMS, proved beyond a reasonable doubt that the Higgs boson had been discovered. This was the most significant LHC breakthrough, 
However, it is far from the LHC's only discovery. The LHC smashes different particles together at high speeds, thereby creating a cascade of new particles, including the infamous Higgs boson. Scientists are eager to use the recent upgrades to the LHC to investigate the Higgs boson, explore dark matter, and expand our understanding of the standard model. One of the most perplexing aspects of the universe is the significant imbalance between matter and antimatter. Precisely the question of why there is an order of magnitude more of the former than the latter. The Big Bang theory states that there must have been an equal amount of both at the universe's beginning. However, almost all the antimatter vanished quickly, most likely within the first second. What was left behind was the ordinary matter that we observe today. The investigation of this asymmetry which has been given the scientific moniker CP violation, is one of the primary goals of the LHCB experiment, which is being conducted by the Large Hadron Collider. The established theory of elementary particles, the standard model, predicts a small amount of CP violation, but not enough to account for the preponderance of ordinary matter. Experiments have sought to identify instances where CP violation is more prevalent. LHCB, one of six LHC detectors, may have succeeded in this area. It has been following the pathways of D0 Meissen particles, which, together with their antiparticles, may decay into either pion or kaon pairs. By counting these pions and kaons, the LHCB researchers determined the relative decay rates of D0 particles and antiparticles. This amount of CP violations is at least eight times more than the conventional model permits. Therefore, it may explain why the cosmos still contains matter. A few observers thought that the Large Hadron Collider would bring about the end of the planet in late 2008. A crack opened up in the Earth's magnetic field at that time. It remained open for around 14 hours, enabling Vecna and his minions to enter the planet from the upside down. It helped tremendous solar winds stream through the hole, creating a geomagnetic storm that made a spectacular aurora. A co-rotating interaction region, or CIR, from the Sun caused the fissure in the magnetosphere. CIRs are large-scale plasma structures produced in the low and mid-latitude areas of the heliosphere, the region around the Sun that contains the solar magnetic field and solar winds, when rapid and slow-moving streams of solar wind meet. Similar to coronal mass ejections, or CMEs, CIRs are ejected from the Sun toward Earth and may include shockwaves and compressed magnetic fields that generate turbulent space weather, which typically manifests as beautiful aurorae. This struck the Earth's magnetic field and triggered a G1-class geomagnetic storm. Experts believe a CME was embedded in the solar wind before the CIR. Cracks in the magnetic field of the Earth are typical. Thankfully, our world is still intact, but the European particle smasher may have accomplished its first breakthrough in contemporary physics. Run 3 is the third science run of the LHC, which started in 2022. It will build on LHC's discoveries during Runs 1 and 2 and perform experiments through 2024. After Run 3 is finished in 2024, the massive particle accelerator at CERN will be shut down so that scientists there can carry out another planned overhaul, including installing additional upgrades. Once these upgrades are finished, scientists can rebrand the Large Hadron Collider as the High Luminosity Large Hadron Collider when it reopens in 2028. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, we're sure you'd like this next video here. Thanks for watching.